The European Comics Journal 2 looks at comics from an angle that proves comics are a universal means, open to subjects and readers of all types. This journal looks at diversity, homosexuality and LGBT themes in European comic books, not only an interesting take on the comic book industry, but an extremely necessary one given the apparent lack of representation in many American comics. The journal starts with an article section containing an article written by Zizer Giambetti looking at how the one-shot comics anthology, Artists Against Rampant Government Homophobia, explores the different sides of homophobic change. This is followed by an interview by one of the editors, Marcella, about Mythopoeia, a team of young creators that make comics together. The interview is very interesting and covers detailed questions including the typical working day of creators and how cultural backgrounds affect the artistic vision of the comics. The journal then provides a brief look at LGBT comics in Europe including a very brief history and uses the examples of 2000 AD, an iconic step for British comics. This article provides a backbone to the articles and topics discussed because we can really see where the rising tolerance for LGBT characters and themes begun. ECJ2 has a double page spread of all the best European titles available from Diego Comics Publishing, a catalogue that only keeps growing. Towards the end of the journal on page 28 is a workshop on how the cover of this journal was designed, drawn up by Teresa Marzia. This is an extremely detailed look at graphic design and especially useful for budding designers. The journal finishes with a short comic called On Our Hill, an amazing piece written in the world of Desdemona. ECJ2 is well put together, designed, and with the help from supporters of this small, talented business, ECJ3 will be incredible. I would recommend this title to anyone with an interest in independent comics, European comics, or just anyone that wants a deeper insight into comics production. And for me, well done to all at Diego Comics.